Hello guys, welcome back to the Nexus. We're going to play Falstad Wild Hammer today. We're going to do the white skin because he looks dead. Uh, I tried recording this last night and tried a little different method and I didn't like the sound and I didn't like the fact that I accidentally chose a uh, secret weapon instead of boomerang at level 7. Really what we're going to be doing today is focusing on a Q belt which is his hammerang and really kind of focusing on being a long distance damage dealer. Um, it's the most popular build right now. We're going to try to uh, maybe vary it up at level 4. Typically people go look for flow rider rather than power throw. But we're going to see what the enemy team looks like and kind of go from there. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright, let's say hi to the friendly team. Let's do the patented smiley face. Uh, Gathering Storm at level 1. Friendly team, Falstad, Chogal, Lieutenant Morales, Jaina versus Azeratul and Anova with a Tassar, Diablo, and Azul. So this is going to be an interesting game. I'm going to go bottom. Really what we're going to focus, focus on, on is because of the two um, two stealthies, we're definitely going to go for this while Tailwind is active, which means we're not taking uh, damage. After 6 seconds we get 20% move speed. We are going to have our basic abilities recharge 100% faster, which the reason why you do that instead of going for battle momentum is we are going to need boomerang. And because they have two stealthies, we definitely don't want to go for power throw because we want our abilities to regenerate faster because of this, but also this means this will be further away from us, which is our main source of damage. Our Q ability is straight line skill shot, any direction. Where you could augment the range, we're not going to in this game. W is a little lightning rod as long as we stay in range of the target. Boom, six damage, very nice. Uh, as long as you stay in range of the target, they're going to take 111 damage, 78 after that for each additional strike. Just going to keep them away from me. And we're going to stay safe because there's two of them. They're going to have to roam to deal with the Chogal at some point, so I'm not too worried. Just going to focus on hitting him to get the increased damage. We're not, he has two different stunts, so we're not going to let him get anyone near to us. Our E, which is our barrel roll, wow, that's unfortunate, uh, which is our barrel roll, has about a 14 second cooldown, also grants a shield, didn't realize that. Um, but, since, since the Diablo has two different forms of crowd control in his uh, charge and his overpower, we're not... We're not going to get anywhere near him. We're not going to let him push us around. We're just going to poke from here. They shouldn't be dying. That's bad. That is a bad sign, fellas. Basically what that tells me is the, the rest of my team doesn't know how to, to, to uh, identify the two stealthies on the enemy team. Just want to let the enemy team or our friendly team know that if they could kind of ping and let me know uh, whenever they see Nova or Zeratul, that'd be great. Just kind of let me know whether I can play safe or not, or how aggressive really I, I can be. Uh, Fall says lane clear has always been pretty good, and it's just going to get better at level 7 when we go for power throw, which I am going to say over and over again so I remember. Going flow rider, definitely getting, uh, not taking a lot of damage right now, so we should be able to throw out more hammers. Oh, I missed. I'm sad now. So the problem is our, our our team seems to not understand that when you're when you're dealing with two stealthies, you really want to play safe. You don't want to go out like you'll notice. I'm still full health, and they haven't even tried to gank me because I'm not letting them. I mean, I'm gonna lose this tower at some point, which there's not much I can do about. But my goal is to not die, and I got 15 gems. So looks like Diablo wants wants some. I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive because I'm not taking damage. So I'm going to have my hammer a little bit faster. But anytime basically that I can't see Diablo, I am I am scared, basically. Because he can push me so far back that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard for me to deal with it. What are you doing? Mr. Morales. Mr. Morales. You're scaring me. You're scaring me, boo. 
Yeah, come at me, bro. That's pinging danger. Oh, pinging danger. They see how many coins I have. That's why they're they're trying to gate me. Turning in is going to be a pain. This is a small map, and uh, their ability to rotate is really good. Thankfully, thankfully we're not too far behind on XP. Just letting our Jaina know to, to be a little more careful because those those two selfies are gonna be looking for her. She's super squishy. She's gotta she's gotta play super careful. I'm just going back down here to soak. Thankfully, Mr. Diablo's kind of slow, so he's giving me plenty of plenty of extra damage. Not nearly as much as I would like, which they don't have a team that's gonna group up much as where you'll see this build really shine. But we can do stuff like that, which will allow us to... My god, they're dying a lot. I'm just trying to clear. That's really my whole goal here. Try not to lose too much here. Wow. This... This is quite a game. <laughs> Whoop, missed. This would be a great game for Season Marksman as well. Just trying to keep us even in experience. I'm going to group up with the team because we're getting close to level 10 and since we have a Cho'Gall, we really should be using that to our advantage. I'm going to attempt to turn in. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, I am going to be able to. Very cool. He has 30 gems, so we should protect him. That's a... That's not a real one. Now I'm joining up with the team, really try to force the advantage here. That is also not a real one. Oh, Jaina. Your positioning is horrible. <laughs> Poor baby. Gonna fly bottom, clear this up. Don't want to lose too much here because we have a web weaver pushing this lane. How are they doing? I love the AoE potential for this build, especially for, for lane clear, which I was already pretty good at. I'm going to keep an eye on the shadows because I don't want to get jumped. That's the last thing I need. They already have 10. Just need to back up. Going Hinterland Blast just purely for the damage. How's Eretil die? Okay, are we going bottom? Morales, you're way too brave, girly. Oh my god! Heal me, boo! Okay. I mean, that was a bad move on my part. I need to stop following her because I thought she was, she was out a little far. Um, but as you can see, Jan already has has five deaths. Really, I I should I just need to play careful. I'm hoping they're on comms or something, because I'm I'm the one person, so I'm just trying to trying to do what they're doing. Oh dear, sweet lord! I did my thing activate. That sucked.
And those stealthies are just ruining our poor Jaina's day. I don't think uh, any time I've seen her, she's had any health. So we got the uh, Q stacked up to 78 damage, which is pretty darn good. I mean, it's not as much as I would like, but it's, it's enough to clear a wave. It's enough to do a lot of things. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near you. Gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm just trying to clear web weavers. Keep the keep the lane from getting pushed out too far. Keep an eye on my team. Uh, they have the advantage that they're all in a group together. So I'm just trying to kind of follow their lead to an extent. Let's see. Only Diablo. Man, Diablo, you really just want to keep taking damage from me, don't you? Gotta get a little get a little manis. Wow. Coming to attempt to help. Alright. Going for increase. Yeah. Increase hammering slow. Totally going to Q build. Really just trying to focus on... Um, Empowering this as much as possible, and the longer they stay in my my range, the more damage I'm gonna be able to do here. Let's see if they're willing to, to help me with this. Oh no. Oh that might be that might be why she's having so much trouble. Oh, why would you go that way? Why would you go that way? Oh, you totally messed that up for me. Where are you blinking to? Where are you blinking to? Okay, you're dead. I know. That's a fake Nova. That's a fake Nova. Please back up. Please, dear sweet lord, back up. I'm out of mana. I'm really hoping they're on comms because they're not playing very well together. And this Jaina just has a death wish. Uh, should I try to keep her alive? Maybe I should. Or maybe I'm just going to get myself killed because she left. <laughs> uh, that the real one? Yeah, that's the real one. Not focusing too much of my attention on... On Mr. Oh, well, that'll do. Might as well get them while they don't have their have their tank. So, do we just want to kill? Is that the okay? So, really, we just need to figure out what our plan is here. You know, what what are we gonna push? And this is really something I want to give you guys, you know, as viewers feedback on is if you're not gonna push, kind of figure out whatever your plan's gonna be and just kind of commit to it. Oh, he moved. Uh. Alright. Gotta go for more crowd control. Try to stun. Nope, that's a... She's not that stupid. May have been born yesterday, but... Now she's dead. See, and this is how you can really snowball with the Cho'Gall. Is he can he can do a lot. He's very tanky. So if you have someone like a Morales, you just really want to group up around him. And as you can see, like he's doing way more damage than me, but I'm I'm doing a significant amount here. Okay, what do we want to do here? I'm trying to kind of follow their lead. Okay, we're good. So now I'm just literally going to stick to them like glue. Oh, that's a horrible idea. But if we're going to do it together...
I mean, that sucks. That was a really good jump by them, but I didn't think I got healed at all. Uh, she's doing pretty good. Oh, I probably should be paying attention. Oh, that ring had nothing. <laughs> oh. Okay, now I actually want to see her build. Eh, not a bad build. Not a bad build at all. Gonna try to just basically keep an eye out for... Oh, that was really nice. Wow, someone should probably peel for the healer. I don't know why I... Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not cleaning up mid. Do we want to get this? Do we want to get this? No? No? Oh, okay. I guess we don't get siege... Uh, I guess we don't get merc camps in this game. Our, uh, our... Jaina is quite bloodthirsty. I'm going to keep an eye out for her because I don't want her to get jumped. Cool. Could you, could you, no. Nope, nope. Ah, crap. Oh, boy. Actually, I'm not going to say that because I died. But he really... I don't understand what the point of that was. That didn't... Oh, and that's interesting. I mean, she's doing some pretty good damage, but she shouldn't be tanking a minion way... Or getting that and... Morals. You shouldn't be... By yourself. She's not anymore, so I'm also not going to say it. I'm trying, I'm trying not to say too much because... Like I said, I'm the, I'm the one person... And I'm going to ping danger up here. So that way they know. Even though this Morales is going to go the most dangerous dangerous way she possibly could have gone. Okay. Going to join up with them. Uh, we're just going to go for more damage. Yep. And they got bus. Oh my gosh, are we still fighting? Okay, well, I'm going to take care of the boss. Alright, and this is why this build is great. I haven't had... We're up to 130, which isn't bad. But I haven't had a lot of time to stack uh, my Q, which sucks. Um, usually this map's really good for that. We're ignoring bottom. I'm really hoping there's a point to what we're doing here. Because the problem is we are so... So split. Very nice. Okay. So I guess we're pushing top. I'm not following the Chogal. He is suicidal. And he left us. Awesome. Could you... Not... This is the only thing I don't like about this build. I am just squish. Super squish. I'm gonna stay by Mar I am Well, A, I'm going to stay by the Morales for the healing. But also... Oh, God. I 
don't need to use any mana for this. Especially since I don't have any. Alright, how are we looking? I'm really low on mana. I well, they're down three. Oh, don't want to be tanking this. Don't want to be tanking this. Okay, I don't want anything to do with that. Okay. They're going to respawn. Morales, thank you. Oh, please run. Oh, God, please run. Ah! Oh, please run. We shouldn't be. St oh my God! We shouldn't be staying. What? If we're gonna stay, I'm just gonna hit the core. Just gonna hit the core. Just gonna. Okay. I think we won. I think we won. Nope. Because we wouldn't leave. That's really unfortunate. Hey! Oh! Oh! Oh, that'll work. That was a weird game. I don't know what NN is. It was a very weird game. Don't like playing with four mans like that because I don't seem to understand how to have a plan, which is weird because they're all together. Let's see how we did, though. In terms of damage... Not bad. Actually, that Nova did really well. I want to see what her build was. Interesting. Okay. I can totally see doing this on our team, especially with me as a squish, squish, squish. So that makes sense to do that. We didn't do too bad, though. Uh, we were third behind damage. Jokal does a ton of damage if you keep him alive. We beat him in Siege. We beat him in XP. Just basically because of uh, this talent alone in terms of it being able to clear a minion wave. Um, level 4 we went for Flow Rider, which is purely because of the two stealthies. We didn't want our hammer as far out if we went for Power Throw. Would have slowed longer, but would have uh, limited our damage output. Level 1 we went for Gathering Storm. Got a, a, at least 140 extra damage on this, which stacks with this, which is really nice. Um, so these two really, really work well in conjunction because you get the damage as it's rolling out, and then you get the damage when you activate it. Crippling Hammer because we wanted to keep them in the range long, longer for every time it damaged them, which is where we saw a jump. Uh, up until level 7, I think we only had 40 to 50 damage, but here is where we got a ton of uh, use out of. Then, of course, Hammer Time, your first basic attack against a target, slows them, or slowed by Hammer, will stun them for almost a second. Really, really good, especially, again, against stealthies, against tanks, basically against everything for the same reason. Keep him in the hammer longer, makes this easier to land, makes you get more damage out of this. Went Nexus Frenzy at level 20, because I didn't want the upgraded ultimate, and uh, I really just needed additional attack speed, additional attack range. Um, worked out really well. Did just fine. So, some of the variations you can, you can make are... Uh, you could definitely go Season Marksman level 1. Really, this is the build that the people say doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, if any of you have seen Pally Time, you'll know this is one of his. He goes Season Marksman, uh, Vigorous Assault, First Aid, Static Shield, uh, then Hammer Time, because that's really the only one at this uh, level range that's really, really good. Stuns are always really good. The Nexus Frenzy for additional healing. That actually would have been a fine build in this game because of the map. For season marksman, uh, this would have been great against the two stealthies because I'm gonna have to trade them. Uh, first aid would have helped the Morales. I would, have, I definitely wouldn't have died as much as I did. Um, and you're not losing much by not getting crippling hammer and getting the shield is is really good. Um, and then of course, th this isn't bad. Uh, I mean, you could couple it with level four to uh, get the reduced uh, activation time, but other than that, I don't see a point. I could see this if you really need to chase, but I mean, if you stun them, you basically get the increased movement speed. I've never really used this one. It, it, it could be really good. Uh, I could see using it with this build, but it's not really worth it, in my opinion, because you're losing out on that stun. Um, 
But anyway, I really like Falstad. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys, how I did. Uh, anything you would improve? Anything that you liked, didn't like? You know, you guys know the drill. Please let me know, though, if 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 you're if you're dropping off or or not really enjoying the videos. Please let me know. Otherwise, I can't really do much to change it. Um, but really, that's all for me. I'm probably I think I said I was going to do Lunar, but I really want to do Falstad. So the next one in the chamber should be should be a Lunar build, uh, unless I already made that and just didn't post it, which is entirely possible. I like playing stuff like Stitches, Taronda, Tyrael. Uh, Tychus, all these guys, basically anybody you see on the screen, I, I really enjoy playing. So feel free to let me know kind of what you guys want to see. Um, I don't have a lot of gold, so I can't really buy anything. I'm trying to trying to kind of focus on getting getting good with as many heroes as I can. Uh, you know, say I have Dahaka level one. So if you want to see something like that, let me know. Uh, I'm not a great butcher player, so let me know if you want to see him. On and on and on. But you gotta, you guys gotta let me know. Uh, if you don't comment, if you don't post, if you don't dislike, I I won't have any idea. Anyway. I uh, hope you guys have a good one. See you guys in the next one.